The kit includes seven balls of yarn, all seen here. There's seven different colors and um, it includes some other bits and bobs in the kit as well. I've had to make some changes to this though. And um, I think I alluded to the fact that I'll be sticking something again. Well, it's this. I'll show you that in a minute. So this is the cowl. Oh my gosh, how well does it go with my lovely vanilla sweater? Right, so anyway, so this now, I designed this and it was 14 blocks long. So seven up one way, seven down the other. And I've since changed it. Um, so anybody buying the new pattern or the new kit, it will be written for six blocks up and six blocks down, a total of 12. Now to show you what that looks like, that is how long this is. It's 60 inches. This is my favorite. This is the fullest snood by Donna Smith. This is 60 inches. So, um, you know, it's a double width. And to show you what this looks like on, this is what the tapestry cowl is going to be like. So that's not too short if you're wearing it double. In fact, this is the perfect length. I've been wearing this for years like this and it really is nice and cozy. Or, you know, if you want to, it's nice and long too. Very pretty, I love this. The point I'm showing you this though is to show you the length. This is going to be the length of the new tapestry cowl. And that means we're taking off these two blocks. So we're going to go from here now straight to here. Because you know me, in all my haste, I was knitting this at home, designing it at home, and I was using home stash. And these two blocks put us right over the edge. And you know, we have about five grams, not enough <laughs> to knit this as this is but it's going to be beautiful even without it and you can see there so what i'm going there it's beautiful just like that even without that extra that's a lot less knitting too so um i'm going to put a wee elastic band around it to keep it together for you but what i'm thinking i'm going to do because this cowl has been morphing all along because remember do you remember when i first knit mine i knit it um around four times and it was huge it was like this big so what i ended up doing was taking it in and doing a mattress stitch down the whole length of it to bring it in so that it was a more manageable width around your neck and I just tucked the excess in there, but I gotta say it does make it bulky. And so now I want to uh, cut this piece off and graft it. So I'm gonna do that, but while I'm at it, I think I'm just gonna cut off the inside piece as well, so that it's not quite as bulky. Although it is nice and warm, but it's really, really thick. So that is the story with that. But the kit going forward, it's going to be 60 inches long, or you could knit half of that and make it 30 inches long and just go around once. It's going to be exactly this and exactly this, the other side. And you'll have enough yarn to knit all of this and even have a wee bit left over of each color. So this way it uses all seven colors evenly and you'll have the same amount of leftover on all the different balls. It's so beautiful. It really is beautiful. 